G'day, I'm Paul. Today we are going to be figuring out which of these dual cab utes is Australia's fastest. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do a drag race. We're going to do a set of drag races. We can't quite line them up side by side here as a group of 12. So we're going to split them up a little bit. I guess we could, but it is kind of very narrow at the end there and it could end in disaster. We're going to pluck them out of a hat. So it is kind of fair and, and very much a random draw. Now, what about the Volkswagen Amarok? We don't have that here because a new version is just about to launch. We also don't have the LDV T60 because while we were filming this, they updated that as well. But we have every other dual cab ute that is available on the market. So I'm going to try and figure out out which one of these is quickest. We do have a stack of other Ute content coming too. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon as well so you can find out when we have more of that content dropping with all of these Utes, but let's get started. Okay, it is time for race number one. Let me just line up here so we're Kind of close, there we go. Um, I'm going to quickly recap what we have here. So Ranger Raptor, Mazda BT-50, Toyota Hilux, and Ranger Wildtrak V6 Diesel. Um, and just as a recap, BT-50 is 140 kilowatts, 450 newton meters. We have Hilux at 150 kilowatts, 500 newton meters. And then the V6 Turbo Diesel Wildtrak at 184 kilowatts and 600 newton meters. And of course, Raptor just under 300 kilowatts and 583 newton meters. I think we know who we know who's going to win this. Um, so I've got this in sport mode, uh, traction control off 4A, so four wheel drive automatic. Um, the Hilux and the BT50 will stay in rear wheel drive, and then the Wildtrak V6 will be in 4A as well. So I think we're ready for our countdown. Here we go. Um, all right, Sean, count us in, mate. And in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Nice. BT50 got off okay. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is walking away as predicted, but. Get on the brakes, see if we can actually pull up in time. It's actually closer than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so because I was light years ahead, I didn't see that, but um, Wild Track V6 was second. Where did you go, Hilux? Were you third or fourth? Wow, BT50 won that. So uh, I think it is worth keeping in mind that uh, the Hilux Rogue has all the suspension changes on it at the moment. And as a result of that, it's heavier than a standard Hilux. But I was expecting it to be quicker than that. So um, there you go. Round two, okay, let's see how we go. I'll just line up here. So this time around, I've chosen the D-Max. I thought, you know, mighty truck engine let's see how it goes in a straight line acceleration um, and just as a reminder d-max matches the bt50 which came third in the last round uh, and that is 140 kilowatts of power and 450 newton meters of torque we then have the sangyong muso from korea that pumps out 133 kilowatts of power and 420 newton meters of torque the jeep gladiator which is a petrol v6 209 kilowatts of power 347 newton meters of torque and finally the ram 1500 laramie 291 kilowatts of power and 556 newton meters of torque that also has a hybrid setup as well which should give it a little boost off the line uh, the ram is going to run in four-wheel drive automatic for traction the jeep is running in two-wheel drive high range and then both of the other two diesel utes are going to run in two-wheel drive high range as well so i'm ready for our countdown let's give this a shot oh and drive modes um no special drive modes here it's all just in standard i've got traction control switched off okay sean count us in and in three two Oh, Sangyong, nice try. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, the Jeep, I've got him. Ram is actually not as quick as I thought it was going to be. All right. we go we are done so i have a feeling that james in the sangyong kind of muffed up the start there but uh i did definitely have the jeep which i'm very impressed with and the ram i thought the ram would be way further ahead than it was given it's a pretty petrol v8 so um there you go okay run number three this is the final run before we have our shootout to crown Australia's fastest ute. I'll just line this up. 
Now, I've got to reach all the way over to this side to find this piece of paper. Um, now, this big old truck here, 313 kilowatts of power, 624 newton meters of torque, nice healthy V8 petrol engine. Then we've got the Triton turbocharged diesel engine. It makes 133 kilowatts of power, 430 newton meters of torque. GWM, it is the lightest here in terms of its engine output, 120 kilowatts of power, 400 newton meters of torque. And then finally, the Navara Warrior, 140 kilowatts of power, 450. 50 newton meters of torque. Um, I've got this in auto mode for the all-wheel drive system. I also have it in sport for the drive mode. Triton is in four high because it has that super select four-wheel drive system. GWM Canon is full-time four-wheel drive unless you're in eco mode. The Navara is in rear-wheel drive with traction off at the moment. So we're ready for our counter. I'm very confident about this. Uh, Sean, count us in. And in three, two, one, go. Start there from me, see you later. <laughs> All right, we are moving. This thing is hauling ass, there we go. Wow, that is fast. Absolutely left them for dead. I reckon this could be quicker than the Raptor. I don't know, it is really fascinating. I think we could actually have a challenge on here. Um, so I found with this, I didn't have to load it up. You just stand on the throttle. If you do load it up, it has a lot of slip before it engages and it shot out of there without any dramas. Let's see how the rest of the guys went. Uh, what was the rest of the lineup, guys? The Navara was well and truly last. I'm not sure about Agreed. the other two. Triton narrowly had me by about half a car length, I think. There you go. Okay, so pretty cool setup there. I think it's now time we get down to business and get our three fastest utes in, which is Silverado, the Ram, 1500 Laramie, and Raptor to see which is quickest. I'm very excited for this. Okay, final round. We are going to declare the winner here. I'm a little bit nervous because I've obviously bought a Raptor, just in case you didn't know, and um, I would like it if it won. But this thing is fast, so... It'll be interesting. Uh, I've already gone through the power and torque figures uh, of each of these previously, but Raptor will be in sport mode with traction off and 4A. Ram is in 4A and this is in four wheel drive auto as well. So I'm so nervous. Uh, okay, Sean, ready for our countdown? And in three, two, one, go. Go. Oh, Raptor got a good start. Oh, it is walking away. Come on. <laughs> I've got the ram. Oh, nice. Okay, so yes, I'm sad that I lost, but I'm also very happy that the Raptor won. That was unreal. And this is quicker than the ram as well, which is pretty cool. So we'll do that one more time just to make sure everyone got a perfect start, but I think we're probably gonna see the same results again. Sean, count us in. And in three, two, one, go. Go. That's better, here we go. Oh! Oh, no! Go, go! <laughs> oh, I had the perfect launch then. Okay, all right. So, Raptor is the fastest dual cab unit in Australia, and Silverado is definitely quicker than the Ram when it is launched properly. That was sick. <laughs> Put that champagne bottle down. I know I said that was Australia's fastest dual cab ute, but I have a tiny problem for us to solve. It's actually quite a large problem. Scott, fire it up. This is the Ram TRX. It has a 6.2 litre supercharged V8 and it is enormous. And I think it's time for us to drag race that against the Raptor to see how it goes. So let's get drag racing. Okay, I love my Raptor, but I think I am going to get my ass handed to me. Um, if you don't know the TRX all that well, um, have a listen to this, 523 kilowatts of power, 882 newton meters of torque. It is a 6.2 litre supercharged V8. It does weigh a lot, but yeah, I think it is still going to absolutely flog me here. So anyway, we could just try, so here we go. Uh, Sean, we're ready for our countdown. And in three, two, one, go. 
was going to be way faster than that. I thought I was going to be way further behind. Let's do that again, Scott, uh, because I thought you were going to absolutely cane me there. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I do not possess the strength in my left leg to make launch control work properly. It shows you like a brake pressure gauge. I can get it to like 1450 out of 2900 PSI, so when I apply full throttle, it just starts. One eternity later. So Scott had a number of excuses there, but what Scott was talking about there was launch control in that. It is a little bit tedious. But I'm actually pretty impressed with the Raptor. We'll give this one more shot. I know that he'll still win, but um, let's give it a crack anyway. Might even leave a little early, potentially. We'll see how we go. All right, uh, Sean, we're ready for our countdown. And in three, two, one. Go. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Genuinely, I am shocked at how well the Raptor is doing. I thought that thing would absolutely cane this, and it really hasn't. Uh, this is way closer than I thought it was. So if Ford ever does a Raptor R version of the Ranger, I reckon we could reel in a TRX. So there you go. So I hope you found value in that. I know it was a bit of a pointless test, but we do now know that the Ram TRX is Australia's fastest dual cab ute. The Raptors still perform pretty well, so if you have bought one of those, pat yourself on the back. It is not terrible in any sense. We also put together a stack of other content on these dual cab utes, so if you scroll down to the link in the description below, you can see that content. Watch those other videos when they go live as well. That includes some performance runs, and you can see on the screen now, 1st to 13th, how all of these performed in terms of straight line acceleration. So some pretty healthy numbers there, I reckon. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you like it and you share it with your mates. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. And also thank you to our cast of thousands here that we're helping today with putting all of this together. But until next time, take it easy.